So today we're bringing back the nostalgia, at least for me. I have some pretty distinct memories hanging out at shopping malls as a kid with a couple of buddies, eating cinnamon buns, or maybe coming home after school and baking up my own with the help from a friend. What's not to like about a soft leavened dough rolled up with cinnamon filling spread on the top, cream cheese frosting. I am excited today to bring back a childhood favorite, cinnamon buns. Or cinnamon rolls. Doesn't matter. Kitchen's this way. We gotta start with activating the yeast. It's not what I was going for. Yeah, yeah. At all. Yeah, yeah. I have today to figure out how to make cinnamon buns. It's Thursday. The video is to be online tomorrow. I'm gonna take the lessons I learned from yesterday, carry them over to today, figure out how to use active dry yeast, and that starts with some warm milk. Any more than 110 degrees Fahrenheit and it's gonna kill the yeast. Let's add sugar, packet of yeast. Just waiting for the sun to, just a moment. The yeast has risen up from the bottom of the milk onto the top and created a layer of like bubbly, foamy yeast. That means it's proof, proofed, proof. It's activated. Add melted butter. Salt, room temperature eggs. Mix that together. Let's add in the milk and yeast mixture. Start adding your flour. Add some more flour. Sun came out with a vengeance. I am going to continue to roll this dough eight minutes until it's a nice round ball. I'm sorry about the sun. I had the oven on the lowest setting possible for like 15 minutes just to heat it up. Now I've turned it off and I'm gonna put this into the oven until this doubles in size. This is where everything went south yesterday. The dough didn't double in size, but I followed through anyway. And here I am the next day, still trying to figure it out. Here we go. Now that is doubled in size. I rolled this thing too thin yesterday. It's supposed to be like a quarter of an inch. Roughly a quarter of an inch. Flather the entire surface with butter. Sprinkle the brown sugar and cinnamon mixture. Roll this thing up. Cut your cinnamon rolls into an inch to just slightly under an inch. Baking dish with a nice wall to it. Butter it up. Placing the cinnamon rolls into the tray. Now it's time to make my favorite part, the cream cheese frosting. I don't need to make it because I made it yesterday. Lots of butter, powdered sugar, some vanilla, sour cream, and just a pinch of salt. You know what time it is. Got my oven preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna put these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it was more of a visual thing. At least that's what I found yesterday. You don't want them to be too light in color, but you don't want them to be too golden either. So I'm kind of looking for the sweet spot in between. I am going to keep an eye on these. All right, in you go, now or never. <laughs> I'm excited. Cheers. Confirmed, these guys taste delicious. Had the first one, still plenty. 
can I offer anybody a cinnamon bun? There's plenty to go around. I'm happy with how they turned out. Tastes just like I remember. Delicious. Best part's always gonna be that cream cheese icing. Nothing beats that. Takes me back to little Jamie. Eating his Cinnabons. Yeah, yeah. So this Saturday, February 16th, I'm going to, what's tomorrow? I'm going to be in the hot seat over on cooking with CJ's channel. If you're not familiar with CJ, he's a fellow cooking YouTuber who releases some pretty great content. You should definitely subscribe. Over there, I'm going to have a live chat with him. We'll talk anti-chef, answer some questions, shoot the shit. I hope some of you guys will give that a watch. And if you do end up popping by, say hello, ask me a question. This is a first for me. I've never strayed too far from my own channel. So having an actual talk with an actual YouTuber, that's kind of exciting. I hope you can give that a watch. And if you are interested, I will leave the link and all the info in the description below. Awesome. Okay, I think that's it for me. If you like this episode, make sure you are subscribed so you can stay tuned for all of Anti-Chef. There's lots of it from the past. There's lots coming up in the future. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below where you can say literally anything you want, but please be positive. Okay, I will see you next week.